The Hong Kong Electric Company (HKC), Chinese: Gongsi, is one of Hong Kong's two main electricity generation companies, the other being China Light and Power. The company is owned by several companies including Power Assets Holdings, Chung Kong Infrastructure Holdings and Qatar Investment Authority. It was the first company to provide electricity in Hong Kong, having run continually since the 19th century. History Following a meeting of the Executive Council to discuss land reclamation, Bendishe Leighton suggested to Sir Katchik Paul Chater that Hong Kong acquire an electricity generator. Chater, who was to remain a director of the new Hong Kong Electric Company for 37 years, took charge of raising finance for the project. The total capital of $300,000 was divided into 30,000 shares, half of which were offered to the public. As a result, the first power station in Hong Kong was secretly built on the site of an old graveyard in Star Street, Wan Chai. The plant was designed by electrical engineer William Wickham who subsequently remained its manager until 1910. At 6 p.m. on 1 December 1890, 50 street lights along Queens Road Central, Battery Path and Upper Albert Road were switched on. The lights failed on the second night then again one week later. Thereafter there were no further faults for 26 years. Street lighting was later extended west as far as Bonham Strand and Cane Road then later along Queens Road East and Wan Chai Road to Mission Hospital Hill site of the present Rutungi Hospital. In the 1890s, as electricity became popular, the first private houses were connected to the company's supply to power lights and fans. On the commercial front, a substation was built in 1898 to service the lifts of the new tall buildings mushrooming along the waterfront. By 1905 the company was supplying power for 15 lifts, thousands of lamps as well as for street lighting. The power grid was extended underground to West Point then later to Victoria Peak and Shao K. Wan. By 1916, Aberdeen and Ap Lai Chow were also connected. One by one large organizations like Dairy Farm, Taiku Docks, the Peak Tram and the University of Hong Kong which had formerly generated their own supplies, switched to the company's supply. In 1924 there were 1,369 street lamps lit by gas with only 469 powered by electricity. However, by 1936, few gas lamps remained. During the Japanese invasion of Hong Kong in December 1941, a number of staff at the North Point Power Plant held the Japanese at bay in an epic defense. Casualties from the battle included the plant's manager Vincent Sorby, who died in a prison camp of wounds received during the attack. A second power plant was built in North Point in 1919 and a third at Ap Lai Chow in 1968 which was decommissioned in 1989. Since 1990 all HEC's electric generators have been situated at the Lama Power Station, Hong Kong Land HKL, which owned a 34% stake in the company, underwent a restructuring in January 1985 whereby it was forced to sell its stake in the company for $3 billion to reduce debt levels. The company is now controlled by Li Ka Shing's Chung Kong Holdings as part of of listed company Power Assets Holdings Limited, which before February 2011 was known as Hong Kong Electric Holdings Limited. Topic: <laughs> Power Generation. Topic. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Lama Power Station. Lama Power Station is a 3,736 MW either coal-fired, or combined cycle when used alongside natural gas. Built in 1982 as a 250 MW coal-fired station, it was upgraded to 600 MW in 1987 and to 1,350 MW by 1989. Lama Winds Lama Winds operates a Nordex standard N5800 kW wind turbine with a rotor diameter of 50 m Completed in 2006, the turbine is of stall-regulated, horizontal axis design and is mounted upwind. Topic: Solar power system. In July 2010, the company commissioned the largest commercial-scale solar power system in Hong Kong. Based on amorphous silicon thin film photovoltaic (TFPV) technology, the requisite solar panels are located on the rooftops of the main building of Lama Power Station. Power generated is fed directly to Hong Kong Electric's 380 volts electrical grid via solar inverters, distribution boards and power transmission cables. All panels are set to face south to maximize power output and are inclined at an angle of 22 degrees. With an installed capacity of 550 kilowatts, 740 horsepower, on completion in 2011, the plant's annual output is forecast at 620,000 kilowatt hours, 2,200,000 Topic: Solar Panels. Most of the older power stations were closed as residential development began to surround them. As HEC was owned by a land developer, these properties were in turn re-developed into housing estates. Wan <laughs> Chai <laughs> Wan Chai Power Station was a 50 kW coal-fired power station opened in 1890 and decommissioned in 1922. Built in the colonial architecture style, it was later demolished and is now the site of Art Deco residential flats at 31 Wing Fung Street. North Point The North Point power stations were a series of power stations built between 1919 and 1966. The site is now home to the City Garden Residential Flats and Maxim Mall. North Point Power Station, a 3,000 kilowatts, 4,000 horsepower coal-fired generating station, opened in 1919 to replace Wan Chai Station and decommissioned in 1989. North Point Power Station, B, 30 megawatts, 40,000 horsepower coal-fired generating station, opened in 1958 and decommissioned in 1989. North Point Power Station C 60 megawatts 80000 horsepower oil fired generating station opened in 1966 and decommissioned 1989 Topic <laughs> App Lei Chow Power Station 
Opened in 1968, the Ap Lai Chow Power Station was a 750 MW oil-fired generating station. The plant was decommissioned and its generators moved to Lama Power Station between 1984–1989. HEC office tower and building is now surrounded by the South Horizons Housing Estate, 34 towers built by Hutchison Wampoa. <laughs> <laughs> Topic: Housing Estate 